Warner Bros. fired Johnny Depp because of an ongoing case, yet Amber Heard is still in Aquaman 2. The best way to get back at them is to not watch their film. Oh. Finally. Reunited with your wife. <laughs> yes. It was like it was meant to be. Tuna ship's been marinating in chum butter. I'm gonna come out smell like butt rot. That'd be an improvement. Before the movie hit theaters in December 2018, there were more than a few people predicting that James Wan's Aquaman could bomb at the box office. After all, the character had often been reduced to the butt of a joke, and even with Jason Momoa in the lead role, the skeptics were still struggling to figure out how anyone could make Arthur Curry cool. Especially when the trailers made the DCEU's underwater blockbuster look utterly preposterous. Jason Momoa reacts to hashtag boycott Aquaman 2. Fans want Amber Heard fired. One would think that following the release of the Aquaman 2 movie title, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, that fans would get excited about it all. However, that isn't exactly the case here. Ever since the absolute war that started between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, it seems that there is constantly one thing after another that is taking place. When Johnny Depp was originally fired from the Pirates of the Caribbean series and lost his role as Captain Jack Sparrow along with his role with Warner Bros, individuals following the case were hoping that the same thing would happen to Amber Heard, but that doesn't seem to be true. Although fans strive to get Amber Heard cut from the beginning of this case, it was a bit tough however with the release of the new Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom title. The hashtag Fire Amber Heard movement seems to have made its return. Well, it turned out that embracing Aquaman as the star of the biggest and dumbest blockbuster possible was definitely the right creative direction to take, with Juan fully leaning into the insanity and delivering an unashamedly good time at the movies. Not only was Aquaman a success, but it became the biggest earning DC adaptation in history and currently ranks as the 23rd highest grossing film ever made. Expectations are through the roof for the sequel, then, but there's an elephant in the room that will surely have to be addressed fairly soon. Fans have been petitioning to have Amber Heard removed as Mera for months now, and the calls have only grown louder after her ex-husband Johnny Depp was forced to resign from Fantastic Beast 3. If Warner Bros have pushed Depp out of the door, then his supporters think that it would only be fair for the studio to give his ex-wife the same treatment after she's hardly shown herself to be completely innocent. Actor Johnny Depp revealed that he was asked to step back from his role in Fantastic Beasts 3, after he lost the Libel case against a UK tabloid for calling him a wife beater. The news came as a shock to many of his fans who were looking forward to seeing the actor in the hit franchise. Now, as a response to his ousting, several fans gave signed an online petition to remove his ex-wife Amber Heard from the Warner Bros movie Aquaman 2. There were rumors that Warner Bros was even contemplating of removing Heard from the movie to save their iconic movie from the boycott. Refuting those rumors and addressing to the online trolls and petition filed against her, actress Amber Heard said, Paid rumors and paid campaigns on social media don't dictate casting decisions because they have no basis in reality. Further, she revealed that she has no intention of leaving her role of Aquaman's Atlantean Queen. I'm super excited about the amount of fan love and the amount of fan appreciation that Aquaman has acquired and it has garnered so much excitement for Aquaman and Mera that it means we'll be coming back, she said and added, I'm so excited to film that. The movie has not yet officially got the go ahead by the studio. Heard added that the production hopes to get underway sometime in 2021. Jason Momoa's star 2018 movie was a blockbuster. The first reactions for James Wan's Aquaman are in and they are overwhelmingly positive. Critics are praising the film as a fun ride with stunning underwater visuals. The film, which stars Jason Momoa in the lead role, is the origin story of Arthur Curry, the Atlantean superhero who talks to fish. It also stars Amber Heard, Patrick Wilson, and Nicole Kidman in important roles. In the first reactions, critics are comparing the film and its visuals to James Cameron's magnum opus, Avatar. They are calling it one of the better films in the DC universe. Will Amber Heard reprise her role in Aquaman 2? A rumor is up in the web world that a group of global fans recently contemplated to boycott Aquaman 2. 
Read further to know more in details. We already discussed on a petition that was signed to get Amber Heard out from Warner Bros, distributed Aquaman 2. The figure reached near 1,800,000 now, but the filmmakers know that if the decision is taken against the majority, the box office result for Aquaman 2 may not appear as expected. Although, Amber Heard confirmed that she would reprise her role as Mera in Jason Momoa's Aquaman 2, unconfirmed news circulated on social media claims that Amelia Clark would replace Amber Heard as Warrior Mera in Aquaman 2. I'm super excited about the amount of fan love and the amount of fan appreciation that Aquaman has acquired, and that it has garnered so much excitement for Aquaman and Mera that it means we'll be coming back. I'm so excited to film that," said Amber Heard in an interview with Entertainment Weekly in November last year. She also said these all are paid rumors and paid campaigns in social media that do not have any base in reality. Paid rumors and paid campaigns on social media don't dictate casting decisions because they have no basis in reality. Only the fans actually made Aquaman and Aquaman 2 happen. I'm excited to get started next year," she added. However, Warner Bros. has already confirmed Aquaman 2 is set to release on December 16th, 2022, four years after the first film was released, but the expectations are high after the first movie Aquaman's revenue. The first film grossed $335.1 million US dollars in the United States and Canada, and $812.6 million US dollars in other territories, for a total worldwide gross of $1.148 billion US dollars against the budget of $160 to $200 million. It became the highest grossing installment in the DCEU and the highest grossing film based on any DC character. There is no official confirmation of the casting news, but Amber Heard's fans always want her to return in the movie pairing with Jason Momoa as Arthur Curry, the Aquaman. When considering Johnny Depp's civil suit against the Sun, it is important to note the differences in libel law in the United States and the United Kingdom. In American courts, the burden of proof in a defamation of character case rests on the plaintiff, who must prove a malicious intent and disregard for the truth on the part of the reporter. This is often difficult given the free speech protections for reporters written into the US Constitution. By contrast, in English courts, the burden of proof lies on the accused journalists, who have to prove that they weren't operating in bad faith as well as the accuracy of their reporting. It is for this reason that many civil suits against investigative reporters are filed in the United Kingdom, where the libel laws and courts tend to favor the person filing the suit. The Sun beat the odds, however, with Judge Andrew Nicole from the Royal Courts of Justice ruling against Depp.